everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number two of the SQL injection module. This lab will show us how to exploit a SQL injection vulnerability in order to bypass authentication. All right, let's get started. This lab contains the SQL injection vulnerability in the login functionality. All right, so we've got a SQL injection vulnerability and it's in the login functionality. To solve the lab, perform a SQL injection attack that logs into the application as the administrator user. So the end goal is to perform a SQL injection attack and log in as the administrator user. Okay, so let's access the lab. This might take a few seconds. In the meantime, we'll create our analysis section. Okay, so it looks like it's a shopping application which allows you to log in. So let's click on login over here. And based on the exercise, this login functionality is vulnerable to a SQL injection attack. So let's try admin admin. So maybe a default username, password, or a common uh, username, password, and click on login. And we get the error invalid username or password. So this is what we call a non-verbose generic error message. And it's always good to use a non-verbose one when it comes to functionality like this one. And the reason is because if you said that the username was invalid, that means the attacker would be able to enumerate usernames on the system. And so that's a vulnerability on its own. However, in this application, it actually takes that into account because if we put just a random username and again, a random password, it doesn't actually tell us which one of uh, the input vectors is invalid. Although we know for sure that that was an invalid username because we just put random characters there. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's try exploiting this SQL injection uh, vulnerability. So let's put a SQL character into the username field and see how the application reacts. And I'm just going to put anything in the password field and click login. All right, so this gives us an internal server error, which means something happened at the back end that broke the application. And so this is a good indication that this is vulnerable to a SQL injection. Unlike the previous exercise, we are not given the SQL query, so we're going to have to figure it out by fuzzing the application. However, uh, before we do that, since this is a login functionality, chances are that SQL query is something similar to this. So select a certain number of rows from a table. So let's say it outputs the first name uh from the table say users and then where username would be equal to the username that we give it so remember over here the first thing that we did was admin admin so username is equal to admin and password is equal to admin so it's likely that the query at the back end is something similar to this now it, it will be probably different because passwords are not, or it's unusual that passwords are stored in clear text anymore. So there must be a hashing functionality over here. But uh, what we're trying to do with the SQL injection is put in SQL characters into the username in order to get the uh, application to ignore ever checking the password. Um, so it doesn't matter if the password is hashed or not. Anyways, so this is likely to be what the query is at the back end. And so let's try and figure out how we could exploit it. All right, so when we put a quote character over here, we got an internal server error. And the reason behind that is because this quote character interfered with the query. So what happens is it closed uh, the single quote over here. And now you were left with a single quote on its own and the rest of the query string. And so it likely threw a syntax error, which resulted in an internal server error at the application. And so what we're going to try to do is log in as a user and have it uh, ignore the password field. So. Let's go back here. Now, if I want to log in as the admin user, 
and I wanted to ignore the password, what I can do is add the comment characters in SQL. And what that means is ignore the rest of the query. So when this gets processed, the query that it'll process is this one over here. Select first name from users where the username is equal to admin. And if the username is equal to admin, then it'll log myself in and it'll ignore the password completely. So let's try that out. And that won't work and we'll see why in a bit. So a password could be anything random. It doesn't matter because it'll get ignored over here. And we click login. And we still get an invalid username and password error. And the reason behind that is because the admin user is not actually a user in the system. So what it's doing is it wants me to log in as the user where the username is equal to admin, but admin is not a user in the system. And so I don't get logged in. Uh, now we know from the exercise uh, description that the user that we want to log into is the administrator user. So let's use that. That's the user on the system. And we copy our payload. And then again, the password could be anything because it gets ignored. And hit login. And here we go. We got redirected and you could see you're logged in because you have a logout button to log out from uh, the administrator user's account. And you can see it says, congratulations, you've solved the lab. Okay, perfect. So we successfully completed the exercise by manually exploiting a SQL flaw in the authentication component of the application. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we both exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe and share button so that the video reaches a wider audience. Thank you and see you in the next video.